Belgium Country Profile Independence, October 4, 1830, a provisional government declares independence from the Netherlands, July 21, 1831, King Leopold I ascends to the throne. Welcome to Sitter's Lifestyle. In today's lesson we will go through the country profile of Belgium. Capital, Brussels Population, 11,539,328 Total size, 30,528 square kilometers World region or continent, Europe Type of government, federal parliamentary democracy under a constitutional monarchy Languages spoken Dutch, official 60%, French, official 40%, German, official, less than 1%, legally bilingual, Dutch and French. National Holiday, 21st of July, 1831, Ascension to the Throne of King Leopold I. Religions, Roman Catholic 75%, Protestant or other 25%. The name Belgium comes from the original settlers of the area. They were the Belgi, a Celtic tribe. The Belgi lived in Belgium until 100 BC, when they were conquered by the Roman Empire. For the next 300 years, the area was a productive province of the Roman Empire. When the Roman Empire began to crumble, Germanic tribes invaded and conquered Belgium. During this time, northern Belgium became very German, learning the language and culture. The southern part of Belgium maintained a more Roman appearance and spoke Latin. Over the next several hundred years, Belgium was ruled by a variety of dynasties and empires. They were ruled by the Spanish because of its location. Belgium became the center of many European industries, including textiles, commerce, and art. Great cities like Brussels, Antwerp, and Ghent rose to become global leaders. Belgium's central European location also made it a frequent battleground, including an invasion by Germany in 1914. After being captured during the Napoleonic Wars, Belgium became a part of France in 1795. It became a part of the Netherlands after the war. This did not last long, as the Belgian people rose up and revolted against the Dutch. They gained their independence in 1830. Belgium has a formal border within the country that divides the country into different languages due to cultural differences. They even have distinct governments. The north is Dutch-speaking, while the south is French-speaking. There is also a smaller area in the east where German is spoken. Belgium has a king and a royal family. King Philippe and Queen Matilda have four children. Belgium is one of the co-founders of the European Union and the headquarters of the European Union Commission are based in Brussels. The Belgian cuisine is famous for waffles, chocolate and beer as well as moule frites, which means mussels with French fries. Belgium is also known for the many varieties of beer. The world's largest brewery is Belgian company Anheuser-Busch. Bruges in western Belgium has many canals. One of the canals lead out of town to the port of Zeebrugge, which is Belgium's main port. There are five cities in Belgium that still have well-preserved city walls standing tall and proud. These are also recognized by UNESCO as World Heritage Sites. Belgium is a fascinating country in many ways. It's also one of the places where the Communist Manifesto was written by Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels. This famous pamphlet describes the beliefs of communists, who wanted to overthrow capitalist societies. Mule frit, maasellen met fryet, mussels cooked or steamed with onions and celery served with Belgian fries. The recipe has often been referred to as the country's national dish but is also popular in the neighboring Nord region of France. A heraldic lion can be seen on the Belgian coat of arms and can be seen as the country's de facto national animal. Belgium is the birthplace of 4 out of 10 players that play in England's top league, Premier League. Romelu Lukaku, Jan Vertonghen, Moussa Dembélé and Marwan Fellaini were all born in Belgium. The first chocolates were introduced to Europe via Belgium by a physician named Dr. Tobias Finer in the 16th century. He had studied chocolates in Mexico, 
where it was consumed by the Aztec Indians, and brought cocoa plants back to Europe. Belgium has about 2,000 chocolate brands, and 40% of these are produced by small to medium-sized enterprises. That's more than any other country in the world. Like, share and subscribe to Sitter's Lifestyle.